Yeah, you know, there's a lot of confusion on both sides of the fence. You've been trying to get them to prepare for retirement, and they've not been very disciplined about it. I can imagine, for you, it's almost as painful as watching a slow-motion train wreck. You know what's about to happen, and it can't be good, but it's impossible to look away. But on the other side of the fence, what can be done to change their priorities in time to craft a shoestring budget retirement? These numbers aren't mine, but unless boomers have a net worth of at least $3 million when they retire, they're going to find their golden years challenging. And if they're over 67, or 65, or even 62, there's precious little margin for error because once they lose or quit that job, recovering from even a little financial slip-up becomes more difficult and prolonged. But a boneheaded blunder, well, that's in a totally different league of dire consequences. They'll need to approach retirement as seriously as soldiers approach mortal combat because the outcome can be deadly serious. In Vietnam, the sequence of interacting with strong, healthy friends one moment and witnessing the black bags containing their bodies hours later was not uncommon. Back then, that horror was a constant top-of-mind condition. In researching probable retirement outcomes for boomers, it became apparent that our distracted society will be unable to curb the exponential growth of senior homelessness. Unprecedented numbers of boomers will become invisible casualties of retirement. Armed with this knowledge, my intention is to help you help your boomer clients avoid becoming part of those dire statistics. I admit, I selected this slide for effect, and maybe it's a bit cheesy, but the slaughterhouse analogy of boomers approaching retirement isn't much of a stretch for some. Boomers' biggest fear is running out of money before they die, which, according to AARP, is why 40% of them admit that their golden year plan is that they're going to work until they drop. Obviously, this must be less of a plan and more of a reluctant fallback position in order to keep a roof over their heads until the end. Apparently, they don't realize even this strategy is a reckless gamble. Although AARP reports that 40% of boomers plan to work until they drop, According to Barry Sachs, a Ph.D. practicing attorney specializing in pension-related legal matters since 1973, and his brother, Stephen Sachs, Professor Emeritus of Economics at the University of Connecticut, even if you're among the group they described as the mass affluent with several hundred thousand dollars in retirement savings, you're likely to encounter financial difficulties in retirement. They say mass affluent is a very misleading term because they're not massively affluent. Rather, there's a mass of them and they're almost affluent. They'll have about $750 to $2 million in net worth at retirement. These are seniors who have almost enough to live comfortably. In other words, they're not out of the woods. But let's assume for now that they're set. So if AARP is right, over 30 million of us plan to work, drop, adios. But that ignores over 30 million more who haven't figured out what's going to happen. Maybe they're in denial, or perhaps they just haven't figured out the real numbers. After all, boomers are procrastinators. Do you see the problem? Only a slim minority of the 77 million boomers are likely to be safe in retirement. To avoid becoming casualties, the rest of them will need divine intervention or a new defensive strategy to remain in their homes. I'm sorry, but this is gruesome. 62 million boomers are at risk of running out of money before they die. Horrible odds, wouldn't you agree? 
I personally believe that seniors need to know the gruesome truth about their odds, the sooner the better. This is a sort of tough love. And by the time they acknowledge these odds, they're not going to like you much for sharing them. That is, until you reveal how they can beat the odds and retire securely on their shoestring budget. Granted, not all boomers will be able to beat the odds, but let's assume that the ones who've been serious enough to enlist the help of financial professionals can. Okay, so here's the coming train wreck. In their November 2014 report, the Demand Institute confirmed that the majority of boomers want to age in place. That's nothing new to us. But then they said that a whopping 37% of boomers plan to move before retiring. Of those who plan to move, almost half of them say they'll be buying bigger, nicer homes rather than downsizing, as was the former consensus of opinion. The report quoted that boomers plan to spend about $1.9 trillion over the next five years. That equates to roughly 25% of all projected home sales in America. Remember the slaughterhouse line? Clearly, a large percentage of these home buyers will be depending on their jobs to cover their housing expense, and most of them are members of the at-risk number. So while you may not be able to keep them from buying another home, there's still time to advise them how to do it right to increase the likelihood to be able to keep that home even if they lose their jobs. This is where I can help you help them do it right. This is preventative defense. I'm publishing this book to give seniors who have accumulated fewer assets than conventional wisdom says is necessary a fresh perspective to an elusive retirement solution.